horridly bright out here. Stings the eyes. The fresh air will do you good. The gods won't be pleased. <clears throat> Jarl, our guests, remember. What happened to your hand? I sacrificed it to the gods. Forgive him, Jarl. Geralt's got more to learn about our customs. We're close to the gods in Skellige, and the chummier you are, the greater the offering you make. It's our belief that the greatest thing a man can offer is his pain, his suffering, the pure sacrifice. To hear the gods is a gift, not a sacrifice. These voices you hear. The gods, their voices. More likely, this is somehow related to your dead brother. I told Geralt of Aki. We concluded that... That the gods are angry at you, yet he's the reason. That's why you have to apologize to Aki himself. I... I didn't want to. Aki fell in the water. I... The gods will be angry. Let me help you, and I promise to do everything I can to keep from angering the gods. Heed the Witcher Jarl. Make amends to Aki and you'll surely please the gods. What would you have me do? Remember where Aki fell in the water? Near the Isle's eastern end, by the mouth of the bay, current had swept us towards Ulula's Needle. It's a dangerous spot. Treacherous eddies swallow a handful of sailors each year. We need to sail there. Aki's ghost won't rest until Brockvar's return to his remains. No. No, no, no. The gods. They'll be angry. I feel it. Fear not, Jarl. The gods love you. And they loved Aki. Surely they want this. Well, maybe I can sail there. The sword should be returned. That's what matters. Makes no difference by whose hand. What do I look for? Did Aki have anything that'll help me recognize him? Something he was wearing that could survive all this time underwater? Aye. Our clan ring. That ought to be enough. I'm off. Okay. These continental dandies come a-strutting, then we gotta yeah. drag their corpses but out of the end. Turd. Okay, so... Let me... Do something here. You know what? Depth of field off. I don't know why that's on ambient occlusion. Let's try that. Bloom. Yeah, let's turn that off. Motion blur. No, thank you. Light shafts. Okay. Let's see. Graphics. Maximum frames per second. V-Sync is off. I thought that was... Let's turn that back on. It seems like there's been... I've been noticing some tearing in the video. These continental dandies come a-strutting, then we gotta drag their corpses out of the end. are good for picking your teeth, sir. An axe. There's a weapon. Got a minute? Sad when someone like Bran dies. Everyone says he was a good king. It's not fitting to speak elsewise about the dead. Mean you don't agree? 
Bran spent his life at sea. And while he was away, old feuds flared, devouring the Isles from the inside. Folk grew furious, came when there was no one to mediate, resolve quarrels. But then Bran would return with loot, throw a feast, let the mead flow in rivers, and everyone loved him again. Farewell. All right. <laughs> Look at swords at your back. All right, goats. And the bloody audio in the game. Oops. It keeps making like it wants to keeps making like it wants to cut out. Must be the place. Are you serious? Okay. the ring. Alright, let's get up to get a breather. I wasn't even paying attention. Crooked mast marks the spot, but not just any fool can find the treasure. All right. Well, I think that was... 
And I think uh, that's what this was, right? But where is the place? So that was that, but where is... Okay, so it should be right there. Well, I thought we were just there a moment ago. Alright, so we gotta go a little farther. That was it. Let's get out of here and back to the peoples. Can't help wondering what that accomplished, if anything. Time to see Udelric. Yep. get back going this direction. Looks like we might be able to. Last night was... I never knew a man as brave. So full of by trolls. trolls. Never ended. Never Why'd you do it? I have a giant I had to. Mantle. The gods commanded oh, it. That's a decoration. What is this? Udelric. The voice has commanded him to poke out his eye. What? Why'd you do it? Such was the will of the gods. A sacrifice for Aki. When did the gods speak to you? Right after I left? Shortly after. Sleep came over me, so I lay down. Twas then they revealed their will to me. You always asleep when they speak to you? Always. What do you see then? Do they try to summon you anywhere specific? My old home. They command me to light torches, then speak from the shadows. What did the gods want, exactly? Do you remember? What did they tell you? They were angry. A voice said, You vile wretch. You didn't help Aki. And now you failed to sail out to beg his forgiveness. Poke out your eye. Suffer. 
and regret the evil you've wrought. Hmm. The gods ever show you their form, or are they always just a shadow? Once, I steeled myself, gathered my courage, and in my dream made my torch burn bright. I saw a hazy figure sitting in shadow then. The gods always demand you offer them your suffering? Only that pleases them, so they ask for more and more. The gods speak from the shadows, you said. Is that why you don't allow any lights in here? In my dreams. At times I see their form, when the torches burn bright. To see the gods is a great honor. Maybe with more light in your house, you'd see them when you're awake as well. Lesser men are unworthy. They cannot gaze upon their faces. I returned the sword, but nothing's changed. It's not his brother's ghost that haunts him, tortures him. What's wrong with him? Can we talk somewhere in private? The guest room. Come. Well? Know what it is? It's a Heim. A post-conjunction creature. Very rare and very dangerous. It latches on to men who commit vile deeds. It feeds on their pain for years, fueling their guilty conscience. In the end, Himes force their victims to mutilate themselves. Sounds unpleasant. Any way to defeat it? Hmm. Two methods that work. In theory. They say a Heim can be tricked. You have to pretend to do something horrible. Then it'll move on to you as its new victim. When it realizes it's been tricked, it'll be forced to leave. Great. Let's try it. Don't know anyone who's pulled it off. Well, maybe no one's thought of a trick that was good enough. What's this other way? Witcher's bestiaries say you have to spend a night in the Heim's lair with the affected individual. The haunted house, you mean? It's hardly cozy, but I wager you slept in worse conditions. It's not about sleeping. You've got to draw the Heim out. It has to emerge from the shadows, show itself. Can't hurt it otherwise. And it's sure to give as good as it gets. You've seen Udelric. It won't be an easy fight. I know you're doubtful, but we should at least try to find a way to trick the Heim. Might not be as simple as it seems. Besides, neither method's perfect. What do you mean? Udelric might not survive an entire night in the Heim's lair. You think the Heim... Would it try to kill Udelric? No, that would mean losing its host. But Udelric could just... expire. He's weak, and the house will summon painful memories. Whereas to the Heim, that'll be an opportunity. The more pain the Heim causes Udelric, the stronger it'll grow. And the more dangerous it will be to you. Hmm. And what about the other method? The Heim's a demon, and demons are notoriously hard to fool. Plus, the trickster can't know it's a trick. What? The Heim attacks those who have a guilty conscience, truly believe they committed a foul deed. The Heim strengthens their regret and feeds on it. Meaning, if the new host doesn't feel true sorrow, the Heim will sense that. Yes. So, for this to work, if either of us has an idea, we can't tell the other one about it. Exactly. Both methods seem risky, but I still think we should try the trick. Don't know that I'm convinced. Just please don't tell me you have to consult Yennefer on such things as well. If we fail to think of anything, we can always try the Witcher's way. Hmm. Trying the trick can't hurt. Good decision. Haunted house. The Heim's lair. Only place where anything like this could work. After you, then.
Meet you there. Got something to tend to on the way. Fine. See you. All right. Interesting. Hmm. Picked up some interesting clothes along the way. Oh. Assassin's trousers. Really, the one that I'm wearing has more vitality that everything else is the same. <laughs> 